I believe we're going to have another jellyfish. Yeah, I mean, might as well just go for it. One, two, three, four. And again, there may be some other techniques here that we could use to solve. But that's just the one that's popping out. And the reason why it's popping out is because of the symmetry of the puzzle and the missing can. It's... Greetings, friend. Tim Relic here from Smart Hobbies, a channel that helps you transform a passing interest to a fun, enjoyable hobby. Working on Sudoku today, I found a very nice classic Sudoku from Sam Keppelman Lines. It was first featured on Cracking the Cryptic back in April uh, 22nd, 2020, part of a 2020 puzzle pack that he put together. Uh, thank you, Sam. I did ask for permission to use one of his classic puzzles on my channel. I want you to notice, looking at this, is a really neat design. It kind of looks like a ball, but it's very symmetrical if you're looking at the different rows uh, and on the edges. And you kind of notice there's a lot of givens right in the middle um, band there. And I think, as far as solving goes, is that there's, there's gaps. You know, there's like the seven... And the five and the one here in rows four, six, and eight, two, four, six, and eight, they're all, all those givens are in the same columns, which makes me think with these gaps, it's going to be some kind of X Wing or Swordfish. I haven't watched the video recently, so I don't remember how Mark solved this. So I'll begin looking at it with kind of a fresh uh, set of eyes. And with that, it's, it's, it's solving. solving. Uh, okay, the way I'll solve is I show all the candidates and kind of work from there. Naked single five. We got a five eight five eight. That's a claiming pair, so we can get rid of that eight. We can get rid of all the fives and eights in row two. We have a three nine three nine. That's also a claiming pair, so we can get rid of the three. We have a six eight pair. Six eight means this has to be a seven. That has to be a five. That has to be a three here in block five. Six eight six eight two eight. Well, that's a two hidden single. Goes an eight and a five up here in row two. And as predicted, since there's so many givens, we, I felt like we were going to solve this part of the puzzle first, and then we'd work our way to the outside. Okay, now I'm going to scan along, and we'll look for any other hidden or naked singles that I may have missed my first time. So I see a one hidden single right here in block one. I'll scan down. See, there's another one that I can solve. I don't see that. Okay, and I'm looking now for more hidden singles. And I don't see any more just yet. Uh, threes, fours, sixes. Okay, I'm down here in row eight right now, and then down to row nine. And I don't, oh, yeah, there's a five, a hidden single five. Scan up, scan over, and I don't see any other fives that I can solve at this time. Okay, so let's go with our different colors. You will see here, pretty symmetrical with the ones, but there's nothing we can eliminate at this time. I'll go to the twos. And what do we have with the twos? Well, we have a finned X-Wing, so I'll show you where that is. That's the first thing that jumps out at me, right here and right there. So that's the X-Wing portion, and here's the fin. So what we know is that either the X-Wing is true or the fin is true. So if the fin was true, then this cell right here could not be a 2. Um, but if the fin was false, then we have an X-Wing, and so there needs to be a 2 here or here, or here and here, in which case this could still not be a 2 either way. So we know we can eliminate the 2 right there. Okay. Let's see if there's anything else I can eliminate. Uh, no, that's all I see. For the twos, let's move on to the threes. I don't see anything with the threes. We'll go to the fours. Okay, we got something going on here with the fours. What is it? Um, oh, I see. Well, let's see. I'm not quite. 
taking it out here. Let's move on to the fives. Okay, can't make any eliminations with the fives. We'll go to the sixes. I'm seeing a lot of, it would be like a swordfish type pattern, but it's not, doesn't quite line up. Or maybe even a, a jellyfish. Like for example, looking here in rows two, four. Well, yeah, I can make a jellyfish elimination in, uh, in those. So, so let's get rows two. And I'll use my color for row four, row six, and row eight. So there's exactly four set four rows and there's four and the cans are limited to four different columns in those four rows. So what that means is that's a jellyfish. And so if you were to solve one of these, then you you end up being a three by three because you eliminate the rest of that row and column. And then if you solve another one, you limit it to a two, which is like an X wing. And then, uh, so the, the logic applies, but now it's a four by four. Uh, so what we know is that the four sixes have to be in these spots in these rows. So we eliminate every other six that is not in those rows. So this six, this six, this six, all this six, this six, all these sixes are gone. And, and if you look the other way, you have a like with the light green, you have kind of a, you have a swordfish. Um, so we made quite a few eliminations there on the sixes. Let's go to the sevens. I don't see any eliminations I can make with the sevens. So we'll go to the eights. Uh, oh, I see a, an X wing here with the eights. I'll show you the X wing here. Here and here, like I said, you know, there has to be an eight either here and here, or there and there, and so there can't be any more eights across the rows. And so that means we can eliminate all these eights right here and here. Okay, and what does that do for us? It actually gives us a hidden single eight up here, so we can solve that for an eight. All right, so that's making some progress. And then I'll scan down the row and see if there's more eliminations we can make scan across the column. And I don't see any more eliminations. Okay, and we'll go to the nines. And what do we have here with the nines? I believe we're gonna have another jellyfish. Yeah, I mean might as well just go for it. One, two, three, four. And again, there may be some other techniques here that we could use to solve, but that's just the one that's popping out. And the reason why it's popping out is because of the symmetry of the puzzle and the missing candidates, two, three, and four. So what we know, again, four by four, the four nines have to be limited, they're limited to these four rows so that we can get rid of all the other nines in the columns that see that. So all these nines can go by. Because they just, they won't fit in their other way. And then uh, same thing, what's left is actually looks like a swordfish. Okay. And doing that now, what I'm noticing, and maybe I did it when I had the seven, that there's a four seven um, claiming pair right here. So that means I could eliminate all these, let's get rid of that, all these fours and sevens from here and get rid of any four and seven that goes across here. And now you see there's another I can pair three and five. So three and five are locked in here in row one of these two cells. That means that three is going to go out. That's a nine. That's a three. Okay, then we have a six. Hidden single. And I look through, I think I should be able to make some more eliminations. Um, just there through the candidates here. because we, we made a lot of progress. And I don't know if the jellyfish was the intended uh, solve path, but that's just what I saw. If you saw something different, please put it in the comments, let me know. Okay, so I do see a 
between single four and column two. Uh, it gives me a seven and an eight and a nine. Okay, a six, three, nine, three, nine. We get rid of the three, that makes that a four. And that's an eight, and that's a six, that's an eight. I think we're going to be pretty close to, to crack this one. A one, two, one, two, that means this three is a hidden single three. And two, we can finish off row seven. Now we can also finish off row nine. And I'll just start doing hidden singles. It looks like that may give us all the way to the end of the puzzle. Well, I think uh, I might could have saw that claiming pair of four seven a little sooner after I made the eliminations instead of continuing with the candidates. Um, but I still did see it. Uh, it was a fun puzzle. I like that. I like the symmetry in it. I like the techniques. I didn't expect to be using a jellyfish. That's a really advanced technique. I thought it would be something a little simpler. The X-Wing was kind of cool. Uh, that's kind of how you, you find and spot them. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Sudoku solved. Please, if you want to see more like this, please like, comment, subscribe. Uh, I plan to release many more classic Sudoku. I'll solve them logically for you. I'm looking for Sudoku creators. If you're a creator and you want to feature a classic puzzle on my channel, uh, just reach out to me. I'm on the Discord server, uh, Timberlake, and I'll be happy to feature your puzzle and solve it using uh, the methods like I showed here today. Thank you so much for watching.